Hi, I'm Kathy with Love Love RN. In this video, I will be discussing erythropoiesis stimulating agents. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a little quiz to test your understanding of some of the key facts from the video. So be sure to stay for that. And if you have our Level Up RN pharmacology flashcards, go ahead and pull out your flashcard on erythropoiesis stimulating agents so you can follow along with me and pay close attention to the bold red text on the back of the card because those are the things that you are likely to get tested on. Erythropoiesis stimulating agents are medications used to treat anemia caused by disorders such as chronic kidney disease and HIV, as well as anemia that occurs with chemotherapy. As a reminder, with anemia, we have a decrease in red blood cells or hemoglobin, which results in signs and symptoms such as weakness, fatigue, pale skin, and shortness of breath. The most common and important medication to know in this drug class is Epoetin Alpha, which is brand name Epigen or Procrit. Our cool chicken hint to help you remember this medication is by taking Epoetin Alpha, you will fix your anemia so you can be a strong alpha male or female, however you want to remember it. In terms of mode of action, Epoetin Alpha stimulates the production of red blood cells in the bone marrow. This medication basically mimics the action of naturally occurring erythropoietin, which is a hormone produced by the kidneys. A key side effect of this medication is hypertension. This occurs because epoetin alpha adds more red blood cells to the blood, which essentially thickens the blood and increases blood pressure. This medication also causes vasoconstriction, which also contributes to an increase in blood pressure. Because of this very common side effect, epoetin alpha is contraindicated in patients with uncontrolled hypertension. In addition to hypertension, side effects of epoetin alpha may include a headache, bone or joint pain, GI upset, and an increased risk of seizures, particularly in patients with chronic kidney disease. Epoetin alpha also has several black box warnings. One is for an increased risk of thromboembolic events, such as a myocardial infarction or stroke. This is because epoetin alpha increases the blood viscosity, which in turn makes it more likely that a blood clot will form. In addition, epoetin alpha is associated with tumor progression and recurrence in patients with certain types of cancer. In terms of nursing care, it's important to not agitate the vial because this can denature proteins in the medication and make the medication ineffective. In addition, you'll want to monitor your patient's blood pressure as well as their hemoglobin and hematocrit levels throughout therapy. It's also important to note that in order for this medication to be effective, there has to be enough iron available. So iron is an essential component of hemoglobin and hemoglobin is an essential component of red blood cells. So your patient's iron status should be assessed prior to initiating therapy with epoetin alpha and then monitored throughout therapy. The typical lab values that are monitored include ferritin and transferrin saturation levels. Lastly, in terms of patient teaching, you'll want to reinforce the importance of adequate dietary intake of iron. That being said, most patients who take epoetin alpha will also require iron supplementation during therapy. All right, it's quiz time and I have three questions for you. Question number one. Epoetin alpha stimulates the production of blank. The answer is red blood cells. Question number two. Why should the patient's blood pressure be monitored during therapy with epoetin alpha? The answer is due to the risk for hypertension, which is a key side effect of this medication. And question number three. A patient taking epoetin alpha should increase their dietary intake of blank. The answer is iron. All right, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If so, be sure to hit that like button. Take care and good luck with studying. Go ahead and pull out your flashcard on the bird of bird. Go ahead and pull out your flashcard on urethro. Urethro. What the? A headache, bent.
We invite you to subscribe to our channel and share a link with your classmates and friends in nursing school. And if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and let us know what you found to be particularly helpful.